How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Ranked Report. Um, one more episode with good old Calyrex Palkia team, uh, and we're up against another Palkia. This time it's next to a Calyrex. Um, so I could definitely see this lead from my opponent being like Eleki Calyrex, because that's very hard for me to stop. Because um, if they lead Eleki Calyrex, that gives them a perfectly safe opportunity to go for um, like Max Lightning and Barrage into Mimikyu. Uh, that just stops me setting Trick them up. Um, so it becomes a case of how do I mitigate that, and I think the answer is I go Palkia Aleki. Um, and I just go like turbo fast mode. There's a reasonable chance that this Aleki isn't max speed on my opponent's team, um, so my Aleki's faster, I can maybe capitalize on that. Um, or if they just don't lead Aleki next to their Calyrex, I can also capitalize on that with speed drops for Palkia. Um, the other option I have is just a Moongus Palkia actually, which maybe makes more sense. But I do want a way to, uh, to get around the Sash on Calyrex, and the Moongus doesn't really do very well to the rest of the team. And then my back end, I don't actually... Mm, Incin's useful here for the um, for the Cartana, I guess. It's either Incinrex or it's Mimurex back end, and I'm kind of tempted by Mimurex. Just for positional advantage. Um, yeah, I don't think Incin's that necessary in, the, in this matchup. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go Mimikyu Rex backhand. Um, backhand Mimikyu is always a fun one with this team because I feel like a lot of the time people don't expect you to have backhand Mimikyu, and oftentimes it can lead to a situation where you just get like a dead safe, um, a dead safe switch into your end game. That's um, right, a dead safe trick room for your end game. Um, save like Palkia, That's not what I was expecting. Um, that's still fine though. Um, Sableye is very annoying. Do I kill the Sableye or do I kill the Palkia? I feel like I kind of have to kill the Palkia here, right? Um, this Palkia also could just be faster than mine, uh, which is very annoying. But I think I will tank one. So I do just want, I kind of just want to one win the Palkia here. And also Volt Switch off the Palkia. I'll give it down to the Sableye. The other thing I'm considering is Electroweb. And hit Sableye, but then a Regilecki back... Uh, do you bring Regilecki back into it? No, you're going to have Calyrex in something else. Most likely Incin. So maybe I do actually go after the um, Sableye here. With, like, Vol uh, Volt... Volt Quake's probably not... No. I'm going to Geyser and Web. This just sets up for next turn. I'll be able to outspeed everything on my opponent's team. And last their Palkia. Because um, their Palkia will not be faster than mine. I can tank one Max Wormwind um, from Palkia, I'm pretty sure. They could, like, fake out the same line, but I think the like, drops to a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It is, uh, Max Geyser. So that still puts me in a fine position, I think, just to guarantee that I have to be the Palky next turn. Um, unless they double my Aleki, but then they don't get any damage on my Palky, which I think is still a fine position. Because that gives me a free switch to Mimikyu to get trip from up. Um... They crushed my Aleki. That's fine, because I'm Sash. That's so fine. Um, and they are faster than my Palkia, which is... That's oh, faster than my... Yeah, sorry, their Palkia is faster than my Palkia, which is a little bit annoying, but Electro fixes that. Um, the issue now is I won't kill this Sableye um, with the double up, I don't think, because of the special defense boost. But, nonetheless, I think I'm kind of fine in this scenario. I get my Geyser off. Should do a good chunk to save life. Oh, wait, that's a very good chunk. Does Electro Up kill here? Oh, if Electro Up kills here, I'm kind of cooking, I think. I am cooking. Please kill. I am cooking. Okay. Cooking is confirmed. Um, so now my Palkia is faster than their Palkia. Very nice. Good job, me. Um, is it Calyrex? It's Incin. Oh, so they want to fake me out, I see. Um, I shall not give them the luxury. Um, I think I got off the incident here, honestly. I could see them going for a double into the Aleki slot to try and um, 
catch me going for like a Mac, uh, going for like a protect here to get around the fake out. So I could just switch in Mimi here. Seems kind of safe. Um, but I want to preserve my Lecky just because it's really good into like a Calyrex back end, for example. Um, and I can clear out in this turn just to make it into a. a... Yep, there's fake out. Should we Wormwood? I would love this, for this to be Wormwood into the Mimikyu slot. What I can see them doing is trying to fake out the Aleki and Wormwood the Aleki. So if I protect, then they break my protect. And if I don't protect, then I die and they hit my Palkia. Okay, they Wormwood into the Palkia slot. So I could just protect the Aleki there, but I will. Yep, I live. Good job. Um, I think I max got TR now. Oh, they've cart in the back. Ooh, does that change things? Not really. Um, actually, if it's cart in the back, I can worm wind and TR. I think. Yeah, I think I will win TR here, because if they hit my Palkia with Kartana, then Mimikyu gets Trick Room up, and then I bring my horse, and I side proc, and I kill them. Yeah, I think that, that wins me the game. And if they don't, like, if they try and double my Mimikyu, their Palkia just drops. Um, well, not drops, but it takes, like, a million damage, and then I get my Aleki in with speed control. Yeah, I'm going to double my Mimi. Yeah, makes sense. Um, yeah, like I said, now I get speed control, because I can... Um, could also have gone for a Quake there into Cartana, might have been a nice play, but I like the damage into um, Palkia. And the attack drop on Cart. Yeah, Palkia goes down to not very much. Cartana also goes down to not very much. This guy's uh, going to kill my Mimikyu, yep. Take some recoil, it's fine. <laughs> oh, I do need to be careful of this Cartana potentially having um, a white herb. Could be troublesome. Wait, hold on. Do I have a around this? So, if Calyrex comes in here and they double my Calyrex, I get another hit off with Palkia. If they don't double my Calyrex, I get Trick Room up. I think it's probably my best move. Yeah, so I think this turn again, I'm just saying to my opponent, right, pick one of them. Um... Either their Palkia dies, or I get Trick Room up. And they can't stop both. Um, I guess the other option is to go for um, this and then just Glacial Lance. Because with a Lecky in the back, maybe don't, I don't actually want Trick Room. Yeah, I'm just going to Lance here. The worry is if they protect Palkia is the problem. I think I'm still fine. Okay, the Leaf Blade, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, the, the Lance was the right move here. Uh, crit was very irrelevant there. Uh, I think unless they crit a Hydra up here, I'm fine. Um, they land the Hydra pump, just don't crit. Calculated. Knew that wouldn't kill. Always knew that wouldn't kill. Never worried. Um, Jesus Christ, that did a lot of damage. It's going to be like max special attack. That's probably, that's, to be fair, that's probably just max max modest, isn't it? Um, on this kind of team. Yeah, now I just bring in Alecky. Um, and I T Bolt will pick up Cartana from here. Um, Cartana is made of, well, it very literally made of paper. Um, T Bolt and Lance. No point getting fancy. Nice, okay. So that was kind of a tricky endgame, but um, a lot of it that I think just came down to manoeuvring to spots where my opponent like just couldn't cover all of my options. Um, 
like on the turn with when Mimikyu was in, uh, if they try and carry my Palkia, then my Mimikyu gets TR off, and then I side proc, proc um, my Calyrex and I win. Um, but if they don't the Mimikyu, they take a million damage on uh, Palkia. I maybe should have just gone for the Max Quake into Cartana there, but I wasn't sure it would kill. I should, actually, I should check the Calc on that one. And it could have also been Sash. No! Have we seen the Sash? No, we haven't. It could have also been Sash Cartana. So I think the damage on Palkia was probably just more valuable. Um, Because it also gets an attack drop on Cartana, is the thing. Um, I'll say, when I made the move, I didn't consider White Herb Cartana, but it's still kind of, like, it basically, it let me get into another position that forced another 50-50, well, not 50-50, it forced another, like, option select thing, where I could hit the Palky and Glacial Lance, and either one of those wins me the game. Because um, I think even if they protect Palky then, let me think. Even if they protect Palkia, I'll get a Glacial Lance off on the Kartana. We saw that did a lot of damage. We saw, specifically, that put it in range of a Thunderbolt from Regieleki. Um So even if they protect Kart there... Sorry, protect um, Palkia there and uh, Leaf Blade it, uh, I'm still fine. Because I just killed their Kartana with Eleki the next turn. And if they swing with Palkia, it can't KO my Calyrex and Morgan Kartana from that range. Okay, this is Lunadon. This is a horrible matchup for me, um, which is kind of interesting actually, as, as the last match I play um, today. But this, yeah, this matchup is kind of atrocious. Um, <laughs> so I have a couple of options here. Um, the obvious play for me is to go for Amoongus Mimikyu, because um, what that lets me do is like that lets me get a guaranteed trick from here. Um, unless they, uh, no, if they go instantly, no, it's not guaranteed, is it? They can just fake out and do the thing. Um, actually, yeah, instant variants of this team are very difficult. Because I have a couple of ways around Amoongus Mimikyu. Um, <sighs> I kind of go like instant Palkia here um, and just scrap the Mimikyu entirely. I think instant Palkia makes sense, or like Amoongus Palkia. Let's try this. This is... Mm, I'm not a big fan of this, but like I said, this matchup is so tricky. I think Inter Park is my best bet at getting a Trick Room up, um, and then from there I'm just going to have to try and break through him with um, Calyrex. I think their Lunala speed is so variable that their Lunala is most likely slower than my um, Park here, but there's a chance it isn't. Sometimes they aren't. Oh, they look like new. Wait, Zod? I could have just trick roomed in front of this. Oh, are you kidding me? That's really annoying. Um, well, this is big Palkia and blow up the Venusaur vibes. Um, or is it? Uh, is it fake out TR? Promise they max their Venusaur there. I think I just kind of. Uh, I kind of have to TR here, right? Um, I don't think Zal will take out Palkia in one hit. I would be so shocked if Zal took out Palkia in one hit. I think I need Trick Room to win this, honestly. Shit, okay. I got that wrong. Yeah, I could go for a parting shot there with Insin. Um, I was just worried about Sleep Powder. Um, like, parting shot trick would have been a great play there, because then I would have got my um, Calyrex in for free. I mean, this will still eventually net me a free switch into my Calyrex, but... Uh, if I died to the Zard hit there, I'm kind of... I? I was this close to pressing Max Geyser. I was this close to pressing Max Geyser into the Venu, or Max Wormid into the Venu. Actually, no, Geyser would have been better. Um... Yeah, that fake out was a little bit lazy. Bonk. I, I don't think this kills unless they're life orb. Oh, they go after Incin. Oh, that's so good. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. That's so good for me. I cannot put into words how good that is for me. Oh, that's huge. That's actually huge. Okay, um... 
that is absurdly good. Um, so power, yeah. Because now I just bring in Calyrex, right? Um, they have a speed boost as well on their Groudon, which means they're kind of forced out on that slot. So I could um, potentially just try and kill that with... Um, uh, I really want to Quake that slot. Uh, guys, it just stops Charles doing any damage. I think that's just safer. And it'll still do a good chunk to Incin on a switch in. Um, the other option I have is just to switch to a Moongus. Um, no, I'm just going to go for damage. I'm just going to Lance and, and Geyser. Okay, that turn 1 went pretty well for me, as well as it could do. Yeah, this is obviously an instant switch, but I think, I think I'm still content with the damage from Calyrexer. Um... I think this still kills Incin. Like, including the chip from, uh... From... From... Uh, not Horsepower, Glacial Lance. I think this probably still picks up the, the Incineroar here. And it stops the Charizard from doing any reasonable damage. Um... Okay, Glacial Lance does not very much. Actually, that does a lot to Charizard, holy crap. And then I get a Geyser off. Does this kill Incin? Maybe not. Please? Huge pickup, okay. That is an enormous pickup, actually. Um, well, far into my Calyrex. Lovely, that's my policy. I did a lot. Oh, that's a lot of turns of wildfire after tank here. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, that's a lot of turns of wildfire. Okay. Um, The last one's a Venudon though, right? So aren't they just kind of stuck here? Um, plus one Lance might just pick up Charizard from here, honestly. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's just Geyser here. Um, This just gets around a sash. I just kill their Charizard, holy crap. Um, I guess maybe the worry here is that if they're... Um, if they're like a slow Venusaur... Oh wait, no, my pocket always outspeeds Venusaurs. Wait, hold on. Yeah, they just sleep me here. Um, although, if this is AD Groudon, which a lot of them are... I think I'll live a turn of wildfire here with my Calyrex. We just don't often run protect. And so I can just glacial lance here and I think I'm still fine. But um Uh, so Poggy could also wake up this turn, which is nice. Um, I can't just go for a worm in here, but no, guys is more damage than it gets rain up. I think it's it's got to be guys here into Venu, I guess. Doesn't really make a difference. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, pal. You do not live a glacial lance. <laughs> this dude's a plus two. Okay. So yeah, that, that turn one went as well as it could have done for me. Um, but I think I maybe got a little bit fortunate there, if I'm to be completely honest. Um, I actually, what is the calc for Palkia uh, off Charizard? Because I'm running a not very bulky Palkia. Oh, my opponent DC'd. That's very funny. GG's. Um, so we'll say it's Sun. 
Did we see a uh, did we see a life orb? I can't. I'm not paying enough attention. Um, so let's have a look. So I do not have nearly that much bulk. Uh, let's go down to like here. Drop this down to here. I think I have this much bulk. Something like that. Um, so if it's not life orb, I always live that. Yeah, so if, it, if it's not life orb, that's a, that play is perfectly fine. Um, I think, yeah, like I said, I got a little bit fortunate on turn one that my opponent just, like, clearing out incident there is, is generally not a good turn one. And it must have been life orb, actually, if it killed my incident, right? Uh, is that right? Maybe not. Because I am, like, impish with not very much spit F. Like, that much spit F. And, like, this much HP. Okay, so yeah, they were they were life orb because they had to kill my instant. So in fact, in hindsight, that really wasn't a very good move. Um, also, not that it wasn't a good move; it was a risky move. Um, and sometimes in matchups where you you're at a matchup disadvantage, you do have to make risky moves. But if I get that wrong, I just lose on turn one, so it's kind of not worth. Um, so like the other options I had there were to go for. Um, well. Mm, I guess I'm kind of making a call either way, though, right? Because if I go Geyser to Groudon and they hit my Incin there, like, I don't really get a free switch into anything. I guess I kind of get a free switch into Calyrex because they can't actually do that much damage to me uh, in rain. So I could set up TR with Calyrex there, but then I'm just taking too much Wildfire Chip. And I don't clear out the Incin. Yeah, okay, so maybe it's it's kind of a call either way there. Yeah, that matchup is very volatile. Um, I think it's in my opponent's favour there, but I'm very surprised they didn't bring Lunala. Because Lunala is super good to this team, and I don't know why they wouldn't bring it. Because their lead just auto-loses to Mimikyu. Like, if I just leave Mimikyu in Zinnor, I just win. Basically. Um, so I don't really get what they were going for with that set of leads. But... Uh, I guess we take it. My opponent didn't bring Lunala, and so I won. Um, yeah, Lunala is so good in this matchup. I don't know why you wouldn't bring it. Because the reason Lunala is so good in this matchup, I guess a lot of Mimikyu's are actually built to tank a hit from Lunala. Um, but in general, the reason Lunala is so good in this matchup is because it can just kill Mimikyu through Shadow Shield, right? Um, no, sorry, not through Shadow Shield, through Disguise. Because um, Moonguise Beam ignores abilities. Uh, which makes this very difficult. And also, like, it can one-shot an Incin with a Meteor Beam. Um... Shadow Shield means it's very hard to break through immediately, which against like a hard trick room team like this, you often do want to just break it straight away. Um, like I just, I never have a guaranteed trick room against that team, and even if I do get trick room up, Lunala makes it kind of hard to break through them. Um, so I'm very surprised Lunala didn't come there, but we take them, we take those six over the team. Um, I guess kind of proof of concept there that I play a team that I'm good with uh, and I'm familiar with and. I win with it. So <laughs> yeah, nice to know I still got it. Um, I don't know if I'm trying to prove to myself that I can still play, or to prove to you guys that I can still play after languishing in, like, Ultra Ball for so long, but there's there's your proof. A 6 a week. Um, yeah, anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, as always, please do leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Uh, sub to the channel already. I'll sure I'll be back to some slightly more wacky teams next week. Uh, I just want to get into Master Ball. So if you're here for the wacky teams, um, or if you're here to try and watch me and my hyper-competitive brain suffer with the wacky teams, uh, make sure to sub uh, so you keep up to date with that. And go follow me on Twitch, link to that in the description. Um, this will go out on Saturday. So I'll be in the middle of the world when this goes out, but I'll be starting to stream more consistently again the week after Worlds, because uh, I will have less to do. So look out for like Series 13 team building streams, potentially try and find something like ladder tours for that. That kind of stuff. Um, if I'm feeling spicy, maybe some Unite, who knows. Um, yes, that is going to be all for me for this one. Uh, as always, thank you all for watching, uh, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.